Yo, what's up? Oh, I am so excited to bring you this video, and that is the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson and why it's going to be a fake fight. All right, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kane. I'm the Silver Bachelor. This channel is 100% dedicated to dating advice for older guys. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification button because I'm dropping a video every day. All right, before I get into this topic, you're probably wondering, why is the Silver Bachelor covering a boxing fight when this channel is dedicated to dating advice for older guys? Well, I'm really passionate about boxing. I love boxing. And the main, main thing, I know this video is a little bit different than my usual videos, but the main thing that I will encourage you guys is to take up and have an interest in combat sports. I can't think of something more masculine as combat sports Women love to know that the guy that she's dating or married to likes and is into combat sports. It's, it's one of the simple things to keep your masculine frame. I am going to say something right now that may piss off some of the viewers, but I don't care. So what I'm going to say is this, and it's very, very interesting. Gay men almost never watch combat sports. It is fascinating super super fascinating when i'm having conversations with with various gay men and i have some gay men as friends and i would ask them many times i'm like hey you're gonna watch this fight oh you're gonna watch the ufc you're gonna watch the super bowl N almost never do they say that they're going to watch any of those combat sports so my point again is combat sports is a very masculine and I'm not saying gay men are not masculine because yes, they can be masculine, but ultimately you're the most masculine as a straight man. Okay. So I know some people are going to go, well, blah, blah, blah. no, you know how I know this? this is exactly like I said, because very, almost no gay man likes combat sports and like, what the fuck? Like combat sports are fucking awesome. So that's why I decided to do this video and I, this is going to be a longer video. So bear with me because I will go into the details and very specifics on why this is going to be a fake fight. All right, so this fight um, is going to be July 20th in Arlington, Texas. It's estimated to bring in over 300 million in revenues. It's massive payday for both fighters, okay? So, man, I, I used to watch Mike Tyson back in the 80s and 90s, and I was absolutely devastated when he lost to Buster Douglas. Now, unbeknownst to me at the time, I was a kid, and I didn't know the whole background of what was going on. So, of course, Mike Tyson gets out of prison, and just before the, 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 well, he had two fights before or after he got out of prison, and when, when he got out of prison, um, he fought Peter McNeely, and then he fought Buster Douglas in, uh, what was it, February 11th, 1990, right? So it was a 42 to one odds that Mike Tyson would win that fight. <laughs> and it was like, it was like impossible for Doug Buster Douglas to win. However, a couple little factoids that I think you'll appreciate. Mike Tyson basically didn't even run and train for the fight against Buster Douglas. He just thought that was going to be a walk in the park. He partied with Bobby Brown the night before drinking. Okay. So he basically is hung over and he fights the next day. So Buster Douglas, on the other hand, had basically nothing to lose and everything to gain. He was ranked number seven in the heavyweights at the time. So there was no, like, no walk in the park, really. So what's interesting is Buster Douglas's mother passed away, I believe, two weeks before the fight, something like this, like very, very, very close to the fight. And, his, and Buster Douglas decided to win the fight for his mother. So talking about determination and and persistence right so buster douglas if you haven't seen that fight buster douglas i believe was knocked down so everyone thought mike tyson was going to knock him out and he was knocked down in the eighth round and then eventually knocked out mike tyson in the tenth round so i i actually i thought too as a kid that that would be a walk in the park i didn't even watch the fight i wake up the next morning i see in the newspaper because yes back then there was newspapers and I see Mike Tyson on the canvas and says, KO. I was like, what the fuck? So, man, I've been a huge Mike Tyson fan ever since. Yes, his career went downhill, but I used to see 
some of those glory fights of him just smashing these guys. I'm so excited. And so Jake Paul, you know, here's this YouTuber. Um, quick little background. So, okay, so first, if I jump around a little bit, it's because I have a lot of notes. There's a lot of things I want to cover here, right? So Jake Paul has 20 million subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> That's fucking a lot. I mean, I am... I, am, I'm, I have a goal to hit a million within five years, but 20 million is insane. So maybe you don't know this, but so of course, uh, so Jake Paul originally wanted to join the, the, the Navy, Navy, military, whatever. He wanted to join the military, right? Um, YouTube and, and being on uh, some other channel as a video creator started to take off and then he put his military plans aside decides to go into basically full-time content creation. And eventually, fast forward, he decides to try a music career. That music career, people was just not resonating with people and people were just not enjoying and liking his music. And then so what happened is in 2018, he and his brother, um, so Jake Paul and Logan Paul, they decide to fight on the same night a couple other YouTubers. So just kind of an entertainment thing, and it caught on with people. So this was in 2018. I'm just looking at my notes here. So then after 2018, Jake Paul goes uh, in 2020, 2020, starts fighting some other dudes. So he fights those other dudes. He wins six, six fights in a row, and you know he fights Nate Diaz, Anderson Silva, et cetera, et cetera. And then this is where things start to change. And now I'm going to get into why this is a fake fight, okay? So Jake Paul um, then, then decides to fight Tommy Fury. And I'm not sure how much you know about the details around this fight, but I know quite a bit about, around what happened with this fight. So Tommy Fury and Tyson Fury, that family. So Tommy Fury, by the way, is the adopted son of the Fury family, John Fury, Tyson Fury. So Tommy Fury is not the blood of them. He's adopted, right? So Tommy Fury, Jake Paul decide to fight. And here's the thing about the Fury family. They don't take bribes. They don't um, stage fights. They are fucking Vikings to say it like that and warriors. That, that family is a warrior family. So that's one of the reasons why the Tommy Fury and Jake Paul fight didn't come to fruition sooner. So what happened is Jake Paul was trying to convince Tommy Fury, and there's evidence of this. You can go to Google and check it out. There was a fight um, storyboard or, or a fight plan with Jake Paul and Tommy Fury that at the end of the day, Tommy Fury would lose. And so, of course, Tommy Fury was like, no, 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 this is, this is a legit fight. The winner, there's going to be one winner and there's going to be a loser. We're not staging anything. We're not so... If you want to check this out, there's evidence of this that has been leaking around that this fight was supposed to be um, choreographed, essentially. So this pisses off Jake Paul. And then finally, Jake Paul says to him, and this is true. Again, you can check it out. He says to Tommy Fury, look, if you win, I will pay you double. If you lose, you get nothing. So Tommy Fury says, deal. Signs the deal. Okay, and that's exactly what happened. Legitimate fight, and I will go on about this. The first fight that was actually not a staged fight, and Jake Paul loses. Tommy Fury walks away with the money. And so Jake Paul got, had guaranteed amount of money that he was going to make. So the fact that there was evidence of this fight, a story, like a, like a storyline for the fight, and how this all transpired... I, I can't prove it for sure, but there's a, so many things. And when I saw, I saw the Anderson Silva fight, the Nate Diaz fight, like it looks so big. Like Anderson Silva, even at his age, was walking, dancing circles around him. And it just, so here's the thing about Jake Paul, and I'll go into this too. There's, there's a YouTuber, uh, what was his name here? Hold on, just taking a look. Uh, so this YouTuber... Jay Aubrey, okay, Jay Aubrey, I'm going to put a link in the description. Jay Aubrey goes into the background of Jake Paul and his personality. And at the end of the day, 
you know, I don't want to attach a label to things, but you could say Jake Paul's a narcissist. You can say he's a sociopath, but basically he has created, he's built his whole career exploiting people to gain subscribers, to gain fame, to gain views. And, and don't take my word for it. Go check all this out, right? So he's in the exploitation business of just using people for his own benefit, which is a clear sign that somebody's narcissistic, social path. There were people that would argue and say, hey, you can't be famous on YouTube like that unless you have a little something wrong with you, right? <laughs> right? So here's the thing. So Tommy Fury didn't accept the fight without very strict conditions. And there is very, very loose evidence that all of Jake Paul's fights leading up to Tommy Fury fight were paid and scripted. And, you know, I'll give, I'll give Jake Paul credit for being a decent boxer. He's not a great boxer, never will be a great boxer, but you know, the guy, the guy can throw some punches and he's pretty decent, but he's not better than some of the guys that he fought. Like, like I'm going to keep going back to Anderson Silva. I watched that whole fight and I'm like, Anderson Silva was holding back. Okay. So I believe that all the fights leading up to Tommy Fury were paid because Jake Paul goes to the fighter and says, look, you have no subscribers. You have no audience base. I do. This is how it's going to go down. I need to protect my reputation. You're going to get paid a lot of money. So let's do this, but I'm going to win the fight. <laughs> okay. So, so that's that. So that's Jake's Paul's background. He's in the business of <laughs> you know, doing whatever he can. And the guy's really good. Like I'll give him credit for stirring up some buzz, kicking some dirt around and, you know, putting on a good show and that obviously people are willing to watch that. Okay. So the fact that this fight is on Netflix is the first time Netflix has done it. I think it's a brilliant move on behalf of Netflix for doing this. So the fight will be able to be watched by anyone who has a subscription to Netflix. You don't have to pay 40 bucks or 80 bucks like typical pay-per-view fights, which is fantastic, right? So Mike Tyson, I'm still talking about why this is going to be a fake fight. So Mike Tyson, if any of you did not see the Mike Tyson, Roy Jones fight, that was a fucking patty cake, patty cake, baker's man, bake me a cake as fast as you can. It was such a joke. I was like, Roy Jones didn't even look like he fucking trained for the fight. He was fat. Mike Tyson was jacked. And I, I saw so many times where Mike Tyson would come in like this to, for a body shot and he would hold back. <laughs> it was so bad. And, and the guy's 58 years old. He has really nothing to prove, right? So he doesn't want to get hurt. He doesn't want to train extensively like he used to back in the day. So I'm convinced, and no other YouTuber is talking about this. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that nobody's like, this is going to be a fucking fake fight. It's staged. Mike Tyson's going to hold back. He's going to be dancing around. Uh, oh, patty cake, patty cake. They'll probably go to a decision. They'll award Jake Paul the win, you know, by points. Ah, oh, I beat Mike Tyson. Yeah. And hey, you know what? If this wasn't on Netflix, I wouldn't pay to watch the fight because it's going to be so fucking soft. It's going to be patty cake. Like I said, Mike Tyson's not going to go in and blow his head off. Like if it was a legit fight, Jake Paul, even as young as he is, would have no chance against Mike Tyson. If you've seen any of his training videos, <laughs> this guy's a fucking monster. Even at 58, right? So I'm just like, I, I just kind of beside myself that no other YouTuber, um, even Chael Sonnen, doesn't talk about, this is a fucking fake fight. This is garbage. Instead, they're like, oh, you know, Jake Paul's going to win the fight. Oh, Mike Tyson's going to take his head off. There's none of that. This is going to go to a decision. It's going to be da, 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 da. It's going to be staged. Like Jake Paul's going to get knocked down once or twice. Maybe he'll knock down Mike Tyson. Maybe not. It's Mike Tyson's going to lose by decision, most likely, because Jake Paul needs that on his resume. And every and I will say this: at most of the fights, Jake Paul is not going to take another legitimate fight like the Tommy Fury fight for a long time, because he's all about his image and. Let me know in the comments, man. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you think this is going to be a legit fight, do you think it's going to be a fake fight? And who do you think it's, who's going to win? And what round? So I'm excited to, to see the spectacle of this, right? And it's on Netflix, so it's free. I'm definitely going to watch it. 
you know, if you guys like, let me know if you'd like me to do a follow-up video. And most importantly, I'll leave you with this. Let me know if you'd like me to do more videos on this type of thing, like an MMA fight or boxing fights, crossover fights, and just weigh in on my opinion on that. So, all right, man. So I'm excited. And the fight, again, it's going to be July 20th. This year, it's coming up pretty soon. And I uh, hope you enjoy the fight, like this video, and let me know again what your thoughts are in the comments. So we'll see you next time.